Good morning, folks. We have a lot of news stories to cover today, but we're also taking a closer look at these solar tornadoes, the plasma filament incoming on our star. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and first take a look at the broader Earth-facing half of the sun. We see no sunspots, no solar flares. We are in the trough of sunspot minimum here. But now let's take a better look at those solar tornadoes incoming over the northeastern limb up near the northern polar crown. Towards the end of the sequence, we see the destabilization begin. Coming next to the solar wind, we are in calm, normal range, fluctuating a bit within it, and we could have more intensifications coming as that looks like a coronal hole is departing on the south, would be another day or two before it arrived. Here's a quick look at the GO-16 day-night cloud phase and the lightning overlay for the United States. Did have some possible tornadoes along the line, and we'll be watching that line again tonight. Moving over to the West Pacific, we see a typhoon there in the Philippine Sea. This one is basically stuck and sitting still. Should be running slightly west and then north towards Japan. Interesting article out about the monsoon rains and their effect on the India, Bangladesh, Nepal, southern China region where you have those Himalayan faults. Turns out all the water might actually be enough to deform the rock and create the big earthquakes. We're going to be spending some time around Mars and a bit beyond. We're starting here with Opportunity. The rover is now visible, spotted by satellite. We cannot yet contact him in the wake of the dust storm. Just beyond Mars, but not as far as Jupiter, we have the main asteroid belt, and four new families of asteroids have been discovered within it. Up next, something large asteroid size, but this one locked around Mars. They're saying now that Phobos probably was created from an impact on the red planet, much like our moon was created that way on Earth. But of course, the top story around the red planet is out of brown. They are saying that the ancient conditions were right for life, especially underground. This is about the fifth confirmation we have seen of that hypothesis. It's starting to become a bit more than a hypothesis at this point. Up next... Well, we all know about cosmic rays. They come from deep in space, even outside of the galaxy. They penetrate down into the atmosphere and create those cascades of charged particles. Well, some of you might recall that Earth does this too. We have the up-tau and horizontal-tau sprays. These cascades actually come from inside the Earth, and we got an interesting paper linked for you there. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got more deeper looks coming out on that solar forcing with another one aimed to come out today. Right now, we've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.